Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here from Easy PPC Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to really quickly show you one thing to keep an eye out for, just on a visual basis within your Google Ads account as you're going through and, and learning Google Ads uh, and, and expanding your knowledge and growing your campaigns. This is something that you really want to avoid uh, seeing in your account because what this particular piece means, uh, if you see it, is that you've made a mistake somewhere in the campaign setup process. So I've got my dummy account here set up. There's some good campaigns in here. There's some utter crap. Uh, and I'll be going through and showing you the good and the bad and how you can avoid things. Uh, but what we were doing in this video is just keeping an eye out on this campaigns tab here. Now you can see that I've got uh, all sorts of different columns set up. There's obviously the checkbox for selecting multiple things. There's the paused or enabled status uh, little uh, column here, there's the budget, there's the campaign type, all those kinds of things. But what we're looking at specifically is these icons. So this uh, one with the magnifying glass is a search campaign. So that's your classic Google AdWords, jump on Google, type in something like car insurance, click an ad that shows up in a Google search and, and away you go. Uh, this next one here that looks like an old fashioned sort of camcorder, that's a video ads test. And obviously that you can see that here, uh, that, that's reinforced. Uh, and this one here is a display ads campaign. So it looks like a sort of website wireframe. But what we want to do is just have a look at this particular icon here. So the one that looks like half of a website uh, wireframe with a magnifying glass load over top. If you go through your campaign uh, list and you see anything that looks like that, you've got a problem. Now, the reason you've got a problem is that what you have there is a campaign that is a search uh, campaign with display features enabled. Uh, so it used to be called search campaigns with display select, I think was the old name. Under the new interface, it's just you know search campaign with display uh, enabled or something silly like that. They changed the name uh, not too long ago, but the name is actually not that important. You just want to look out for this. Now, the reason you look out for this is what it means is that your ads, you're effectively trying to combine two types of advertising into one campaign. You're combining search advertising, which is um, you know higher intent, lower volume, more expensive CPCs usually, uh, different stage of the buying cycle, all that kind of stuff. You're trying to combine that with display advertising, which is often top of the funnel, interruption marketing, uh, you know, generally higher traffic and impression volumes. They're just, you know, they're chalk and cheese. You can't really compare the two and you should never do the both in the same type of campaign. Uh, and in another video, which I'll link in the description of this video, uh, I'll, I'll show you how to avoid that mistake when you're setting the campaigns up. But if you've already done a campaign setup, maybe it's been running for a week or a month or a year and you see this, uh, what do you need to actually do to go and fix it? Well, what we can do is open up this campaign here. So this Christchurch based terms campaign. And what we'll do is we'll come down to settings and to confirm that the mistake has been made, we can see here under networks that the uh, ads are enabled to run on the search network. Obviously it's a search campaign. We've included Google search partners and that's fine for, for the, the purpose of this. But what we can see here is that this display network expansion is enabled. Expand your reach by showing ads to relevant customers as they browse sites, videos, and apps. Now that's totally true. That's what the display network's there for and it can work really effectively. Now, in fact, on a lot of accounts I work on, we you know we get some really good results out of display advertising, but display advertising should not be mixed in with search advertising. So if you've seen that uh, little logo that looks like the um, website with the magnifying glass over the top, what you want to do is come into the settings and disable this and ignore this message here from Google. That's just them trying to earn more of your money. Hit save. And what we will then be able to do uh, when we go back to the all campaigns list is we should say that's updated. And now look, it's a search based uh, campaign only. So much better. We can, if, if you're getting, you know, display impressions within that campaign, uh, which often, you know, if you're not knowing that you've done the setup incorrectly, you'll be getting that. You can always do another display campaign only setup, but you should not combine the two. And this is just a really easy way to eyeball it to see if you've got any issues to deal with. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, please like, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I've got tons more tutorials coming. I'm releasing at the moment multiple tutorials a day on some days. Uh, so I, I aim to make this uh, the best channel to come to to learn PPC and Google Ads advertising. Uh, you know, I might not have the flashiest recording set up, uh, but hopefully you find the content helpful. If you need more help, please leave a comment on this video or you can email me on info at samfrost.co.nz and I'll be more than glad to give you a hand as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.